Good. Here we are in Jerusalem. Oprah's going to play the guitar from a famous song. In fact, it's Paul McCartney. Wow, I met Paul, gave him John Lennon's autograph when I did my Beatles tribute in Jerusalem. That's where I make all my records. But Paul is an amazing musician. At the 12, 12, 12 Sandy concert, I, I heard him, I saw the concert, he closed off the show. A true talent. And when I met him personally, he was with his future wife. I was selling my books with my lady Alma, who went to be with the Lord now. And I got to meet the man. And uh, I want to tell you, Messiah's coming like him. A thief in the night. These are very talented people. I like to see them singing for the Lord. You know, God gave us life and health and family and friends and country and talent and intelligence. We got to do something for the for the Lord in love, by faith, by grace, by His mercy. And so, Jesus is coming like a thief in the night. Take that rugged cross and go for Christ For all your life You will have no fear, the Bible says there is no fear in love Jesus is the way, the truth and the life Take that rugged cross and go for Christ For all your life you will have no fear, the Bible says, there is no fear in love. Jesus Christ, Yeshua. He is the light in the dark black night. fellow. I used to meet him all over New York, buying a hot dog in Central Park and he was standing behind me. You know, he was that kind of guy, he was a street person. He was always friendly. And uh, one of the things that I remember when I went to his house, he uh, I sat at the Imagine piano and I was, it was 1973 and I was afraid to play it because that was the piano of that great song. Well, now, 20 years later, I've tuned a dozen pianos in Jerusalem, but just to show you that the, the man is really special, special in my mind. And I think I want to tell all you young kids out there, I'm 51 years old now, and I, now I've come to my senses. I don't think John Lennon was an atheist, I don't think he was against the idea of a heaven. I think he saw religion as a, a mind control, and it doesn't take any faith to practice a religion. So I tell all you people, when I change the words here, I'm trying to make a worship song. Worshiping a creator that gave us life and health, family and friends, and country and our talents. The one time I remember I gave John Lennon one of my uh, Real to Real songs. I used to record in the 60s, personal stuff. And John said to me something that I want to pass on here. He said, uh, it was the third Real to Real I gave to him. And, he had little Sean in his arms and he was unshaven. He looked like he had found something. This was two months before he passed away, exactly the same spot he passed away. I used to play violin in front of his house. That was before I became a born again believer, you know. My BC days were kind of wild. Anyway, John, I gave him my CD, and he, my, my reel to reel, and he said, uh, well, you know, I only listen to my own stuff and that's why I'm good, young fellow. And what I think he meant by that, you should understand by that is that if you study your own songs that you write and your, own, and your own music that you play, you'll get better. Letting other people help you along, but learn to do your own thing. Believe in yourself and have faith.
charge of the kingdom in heaven. It's easy, read the Bible, and if you try. Now you're going to hear the parables of Yeshua, Jesus, the Mashiach, the Christ. The barren fig tree, Luke 13, 6 to 9. The beam and the moat, Luke 6, 41 and 42. The blind leading the blind, Luke 6, 39. The building of a tower, Luke 14, 28 to 30 and 33. The children in the marketplace, Matthew 11, 16 to 19. The children of the bride chamber. Matthew 9, 15, Mark 2, 18. The children's bread. Mark 7, 27 and 29. The clouds and the wind. Luke 12, 54 to 57. The creditor and the debtors. Luke 7, 41 to 47. The door and the hireling. John 10, 7 to 16. The faithful and evil servants, Matthew 24, 45 to 51. The fig tree leafing, Matthew 24, 32 to 34. The good Samaritan, Luke 10, 30 to 37. The grain of wheat, John 12 to 24. The good shepherd, John 10, 1 and 6. The great supper, Luke 14, 15 to 24. The house divided against itself. Mark 3.25 The importunate friend. Luke 11.5-9 The importunate widow. Luke 18.1-8 The kingdom divided against itself. Mark 3.24 The king going to war. Luke 14.31-33 The king's marriage feast. Matthew 20. 2 to 14, the laborer is hired, Matthew 20, 1 to 16, the leaven, Matthew 13, verse 33, Luke 13, verse 20 and 21, the lighted candle, Mark 4, 21, Luke 11, 33 to 36, the lost piece of silver, Luke 15, 8 to 10, the lost sheep, Luke 15, 3 to 7, Matthew 18, 12 to 14, the man of the house watching, Matthew 24, 43. The man taking a far journey, Mark 13, 34 to 37. The meats defiling not, Matthew 15, 10 to 15. The men bidded to a feast, Luke 14, 7 to 11. The mustard seed, Matthew 13, 31 and 32, Luke 13 to 19. The net cast into the sea, Matthew 13, 47 to 50. The new cloth and old garment. Matthew 9 to 16. The new wine and old wineskins. Matthew 9 to 17. The pearl of great price. Matthew 13, 45 and 46. The Pharisee and the publican. Luke 18, 9 to 14. The pounds. Luke 19, 12 to 27. The prodigal son. Luke 15, 11 to 32. The rich fool. 12 to 6, 16 to 21. The rich man and Lazarus. Luke 16, 
19 to 31. The savor of salt, Luke 14, 34, 35. The seed growing secretly, Mark 4, 26 to 29. The sheep falling in a pit, Matthew 12, 11 and 12. The sower, Matthew 13, 3 to 23, Luke 8, 5 and 11. The strong man armed, Mark 3, 27, Luke 11, 20, 21. The talents, Matthew 25, 14 to 30. The tares, Matthew 13, 24 to 30. The ten virgins, Matthew 25, 1 to 13. The treasure hidden in a field, Matthew 13, 44. The tree and its fruit, Luke 6, 43 to 45. The two sons, Matthew 21, 28 to 32. The unclean spirit, Matthew 12, 43. The unjust steward, Luke 16, 1 to 8. The unmerciful servant, Matthew 18, 23 to 25. The unprofitable servants, Luke 17, 7 to 10. The vine and the branches, John 15, 1 to 5. The waiting servants, Luke 12, 35 to 40. The wicked husbandmen, Matthew 21, 33 to 45. The wind blowing where it wishes, John 3, 8. The wise and the foolish builders, Matthew 7, 24 to 27. The wise householder, Matthew 31, 51 and 52. The wise steward, Luke 12, 41 to 48. And the woman in travail, John 16. Happiness is knowing God's Son Yeshua. 